Ashley, obviously, great win on the weekend, um, great performance as well. How 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 do you kind of reflect on that? To obviously come away with six goals, um, first cat to kind of do that. Um, is that something you've you thought about in the day since? Or um, for me, to be honest, I'm very like you know obviously enjoy that straight after the game, but your mind switches straight away to focus on this weekend and. You know, go straight back to the team. How can we do well? How can I bring myself to the game against West Coast to benefit the team? So I was happy that I was able to do that, but looking forward to this weekend now. You know, we're hoping that we can go out and hopefully get a win on the board and put ourselves in the best position going forward. So obviously, leaning goal kicking is that not really going to factor in your mind on the, on the weekend and, and how you play? Uh, not necessarily. I think, you know, every player is out to win a grand final. So at the end of the day, that's what you're striving for. And any personal accolades that come on top of that obviously is a massive plus and advantage. Um, but for me and for the team, like it's looking forward to this weekend coming now and all eyes are on that. Playing Adelaide and still, this, you know, the win keeps you, keeps you alive. Um, some things obviously have to go your way as well. But how do you kind of approach that? Um, having, you know, welcoming Crows here, but with the chance that if things do go um, your way that you could be playing finals? Yeah, as you said, there's an element of certain um, elements are in our control and certain elements are out of our control. But for us, you know, we can control the controllables, control the controllables and try to put our best foot forward and um, go out and try to win the Adelaide game, which will be a very, very tough task, as we all know that Adelaide are quite a good team and have been for the last number of years. So um, the best thing we can do is just um, go out and put our best foot forward. I mean, how like obviously it's maybe a little bit frustrating at the, at the start of the year as a team of some things not kind of gelling and, and being able to get the wins but seems obviously up on the up in the last couple of weeks to win it against the Lions and so over in Eagles as well. Um, how is that I guess yeah like in terms of lifted the group and, and what you guys could potentially do um, on the weekend? Yeah, it's been quite frustrating, I suppose, the start uh, the first half of a year, you know, we probably haven't been getting the results that we've wanted to, but you know, that's all the elements of sport that it shows at you. And if we had potentially won those games earlier on, we probably wouldn't have been in the position of having such a pos positive back end of our season. So, you know, all these losses and wins happen for a reason. You always sort of have to learn something from them. And what happened at the first half of the season, we definitely learned. And it's definitely not only benefiting us for this year in the back end of our season, but it's something also, you know, we're focusing on next year and looking forward to next year as well at the same time. Came uh, a bit later in pre-season in the last couple, in your first two, two years. Um, have you felt like that, um, like how have you approached that in terms of, I guess last year you were kind of learning the game and, and kind of um, catch up that way, um, but then come this year and know what you were doing, but still I guess not have um, the, the same amount of time as ever, everyone else in kind of pre-season. Um, has that, in terms of still being able to put the, the season you have out on the field, um, how did you just go about, about that and, and getting ready um, the best way that you possibly could for the season? I think that um, control was completely taken out of my hands. That's something that Geelong and the staff here looked after and it was something that I didn't have to worry about when I was at home in Ireland. You know, I was doing my own stuff back home, but it was due to the club understanding and the coaching staff backing us in and when we arrived here putting in um, the extra kind of gains. But I suppose last year when you look back, I kind of almost laugh. You know, last year you're in the middle of it and you think you don't really realise till this year actually, you know, the element of learning the game and probably how much we had to take in last year in terms of structure. For, but for me this year, I had known all the basics in the foundation, so it was more so just backing in my skills and trusting, as Dan always says to me, you know, go out and play Gaelic football like you do in Ireland. And that's definitely something that I've brought forward this year and tried to implement in each game. So that's the last time into just getting more, just more, more games into you and... Um, and a dance of the other week, maybe you'd love to be able to, in terms of marking, maybe an area of improvement, is that, what, what do you see in terms of, of ways that you can kind of continue to get better and better? 100%, always trying to find the extra mile, um, you know, as a sports person and a very competitive sports person at that, like I always want to have the upper hand and, you know, it's quite a new game to me. Um, we often actually reflect, you know, I often say to myself, I probably grew up in Ireland knowing what I was playing and I've came out here completely on the black foot and probably have been at, at, in the bottom of the pile last year, whereas now it's just a bit mad that, you know, knowing my skills and knowing what I can bring to the team has been quite amazing. But there's always elements that I want to improve, you know, even elements of composure on the ball. As Dan said, marking in the air, that's something that I need to add to my game. It's something I'm practicing every week, week in, week out. So... Yeah, um, I don't think the day that I rest on my laurels and begin to think that I know everything will be a day then I think I need to retire. Um, the, the season as a whole, maybe looking at um, where it kind of fits in, in the 
in the year, um, what's the best kind of start date, if it was earlier in the season, is that, does that affect you guys in terms of what potentially you could be doing back home but then coming to play here as well? Yeah, at the moment, as we know, there's a lot of talk and there has been no set date. Um, Geelong have always been back in and in terms of us, you know, they're always putting Gaelic at the forefront for us first. So it's something that we haven't actually really spoken about, to be honest. It has been mentioned here and there, but for us, it's about let's find out the date first and then go from there. But it won't be any issue. Geelong are going to back us in whatever we want to do. Are you motivated to kind of continue keep playing both? Yeah, um, you know, I've grown up in Ireland playing 12 months a year, so this is no different to me. It's just you're moving country for this one, so you're going six months in Ireland, six months over here. So, yeah, I'm really excited. Um, you know, I've really loved my last two years here at Geelong, and I'm excited to go further, and um, I can't wait now. Even just hopefully, you know, we don't know what the end of the season lies ahead for us. We just put ourselves in the best position, and if it's a case we're in finals, that's absolutely brilliant. Um, but if not, you know, knuckle it down and have a few things going home at me that I can improve on coming into next year. There's so many um, Irish players over in the league now, 36, um, I think it was floated this week. Um, what's that like to obviously have, um, you know, go up against every team and probably has a, an Irish player in there? And I guess there's a bit of talk maybe that um, there could be an international rules kind of game. Um, what is, it, is that something that would, um, I guess, excite you as well? Yeah, very excited by that news that we've been hearing for the last while. Um, AFLW here gets a lot of broadcast at home. Our Brisbane and Geelong game was shown last weekend, so a lot of people who wouldn't have even got a chance to watch the game got to see that. So that's how much it's reaching back home um, to viewers back home. But yeah, we're gunning for, a, as we say, we're gunning, the Irish are gunning for an Irish team versus all Australian team. I think it would just be amazing. Um, you know, obviously there's such big talk here around all of the Irish girls are out here, and I suppose a lot of people have admiration for what we do, but you have to have adm admiration for everyone who um, welcomes us into their clubs and remains patient with us as we try to learn the game. But I think it would be incredible. I think we need to set a date, MCG, sell it out, Irish versus all Australians. And yeah, I just think we need to go do it. Put you forward, Captain. Um, yeah, so we'll have Zach Dewey as our coach. <laughs> so we've it all sorted out already. Um, yeah, and get a few of the Irish lads involved as well in the background and whatnot. It'd be, I think it would be incredible. Um, just so we could um, showcase maybe what we could do. It'd be interesting to see how we might play the game, but yeah, it'd be pretty incredible. Now, Anne Rose said to one of my colleagues this week as well that um, your parents potentially would come out if you made finals. Is that also, I guess, a bit of a, a carrot this weekend to, to play and, and, and go further and, and get them out here? Uh, I would say no. Um, when I'm out here, you have to accept that you're 24 hours away from home. Every time I go into a match, you know, you forget about what's going on at home. You just concentrate on what you have to do. It's obviously really nice if I do get them out here. Um, you know, I'm going to see them in potentially eight or nine weeks anyway. So regardless if they do come out or if they don't come out, um, it's definitely not something I have to knuckle down here and concentrate on what I have to do. Um, and then obviously it's really nice engaging with them after the game. My cousin actually came to the game in part and it was really nice. She had mum and dad on FaceTime which was really nice for me. It was something so small and I never had thought of it, but when someone hands, you're not going to ring them yourself, I suppose, because you don't have your phone, but when someone hands you the phone and your mum and dad and also our family friend, Father Knight, was there, who's followed me since I've been about seven, it was really, really nice to have that. So little things like that going off a long way, but you're so far away from home, you can't really think of those sort of things.